everybody. I'm Lisa Ascalese, the inventress, CEO and founder of Inventing A to Z, and extremely happy to be here on my podcast, the Inventress Podcast. And you know, every week I have a great speaker, in inventor, entrepreneur. This week, I'm excited because I have the influencer, Angela Evans. She's a woman of God. She's a mother. She's a powerhouse. She's just a loving, kind, giving person. She's a best-selling author. I mean, she's got a new podcast out and a whole host of other things to share. Welcome, Angela. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am awesome. And I appreciate you inviting me on your show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Such a pleasure. And you know what? You always have so much going on. And I have to say the number one thing that I see you're doing always is sharing kindness, spreading yeah. the word of God, spreading joy. And yeah. uh, so I just want to talk a little bit. Let's get a little bit about your, your background um, and we'll get into your podcast, which I love. I love it. working on me. Who doesn't need somebody working on them? Most yeah. God, right? Yes, yeah, for sure. And for sure. Thank you. Talk about is your journey to connecting with God. That's your, that, I'll call, that's a bestseller, girl. I love it. Yeah, that's thank you. I appreciate you. Thank so you. let's start, let's start by talking about who Angela is. Who are you, Angela, to other people looking at you, joining you for the first time? Who are you and what is this all about? Well, I am a woman of God. I have to give honor to God for all that has occurred in my life. I'm a woman who has been through various challenges, just like all of us. I'm a mother of five. I have three grandchildren. I'm a full-time working mother as well. And in my spare time, I do a lot of things in the community. I have a, I have a few different organizations that I um, participate with where I'm always active in the community. So my heart has always been big. I've always done things outside of my household. But for, first and foremost, I am a mom and I am so grateful for my children and the journey that I am on. And, and in fact, when you mentioned journey to connecting with God, I was like, wow, when I first wrote the book, it really was a way for me to inspire others to start their own journey. My first book was Path to Still Waters. It was my path to finding God, finding peace. So mm -hmm. whenever everybody was talking to me and explaining to me how much they were moved by my book, I said, everybody needs their own journey. So that's where the name really came from. But when you mentioned it just now, wow, my journey to connecting with God, it was over a period of years all throughout my life, knowing God, understanding God is real, but not really having a relationship with him until after I um, found myself in a challenging time after divorce, after separating from my husband, I would have to say. You know, and sometimes it takes some, some a tragedy, some, you know, some sadness in order to pull you there. You know, sometimes you get, you get to a place that's so low. I think you've known he's always there, right? But yes, for sure. All throughout my life, of course, you know, you, you, you know, you feel God, you know, his presence is there, but it's in those dark times, those challenging times when you really have to try him for yourself. And when he starts responding, it's sort of like, okay, I get it. Thank you. I appreciate you. I understand this moment. I see it's bigger than this trial. I, how do you want me to handle this trial? So those are the times when we really get to trust God in the storm. Yes, I have to say. You know, and I, I agree with you there because, um, but, but sometimes it takes another person to, to remind you to open your eyes. And I always talk about hanging around with positive people, right? Being involved with people who are going to actually lift you up in that space and not, not bring you down further. Were you around or surrounding yourself with other positive people to get you to that, that space? That is the, that's the ultimate go-to because sometimes when we're dealing with our own issues, as you know, when we're dealing with our own issues, we can stay in the bed, we can be miserable and all that. But whenever you know there are positive influences around you, you got to pick up the phone. You got to get involved. You cannot stay in that spot. So I appreciate people such as Sister Paulette, I have to drop some names because these were women who really lifted me whenever I was in that down space. So you really need to know the go-tos. We should try to figure out who are my go-tos? Who are the positive people that I can speak to? Who are the ones that I can call when I know I, I just need some encouragement? So yes, I was around my uh, friends, sister mm -hmm. groups. I had to stay involved in sisters groups. Of course, I have to give, um, I have to reverence my uh, spiritual leader who always was in my ear and reminded me of reading the word and praying and all that. Uh, but I have to say it was 
Sister Friends. Mm -hmm. It was Aunt Hilda. It was Sister Pauline. It was women who themselves have come through challenging times who have helped me. So it's almost like when you find somebody who helps you get out of it, it's almost like, how do I pay it forward? How can I not be available and accessible for somebody else? And that's that. pretty much why I stay active in the community because there are so many people who don't know how to act for help. So many people who are afraid to act for help. Some You're people so who right. really don't even, and some people don't even know they need help. That's the other part. Excellent point. That's the other part. Excellent point. And so is that what drove you to write your first book? So uh, after you went through many of your trials and tribulations, was that what um, drove you to write your first book? Yes, because what see what happened for me is I love Facebook. I have to say that Did when you? I first I, I didn't have it for the first few years. I was married with children dealing with that kind of stuff when the, when Facebook first was introduced. But once I was separated, it was sort of like, oh my goodness, I can communicate with everybody and let everybody know, hey, hey. And everybody was looking at me like, yeah, really? You're okay? Yeah, you just had a horrible experience and you're smiling. Yeah, so it was almost like unreal for people to accept that I said I'm good. If I said I'm good, this is your first time seeing me since that experience, but I'm really good. So it was all, sort of how, like, you know, some people like to talk about this, that, and the other. I just want to talk about God. How about that? Can I share a testimony of that? And that's what I started doing, just speaking about God openly on social media. And I think that I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I, I can be positive in what I'm saying, that that was your catharsis. So having Facebook as a platform, having a, a, a voice, and speaking it out to so many people must have been um, helpful to your your mind, body, and spirit, right? You know, whether people are, not, whether they're listening or not, somebody's going to grab onto it, and you're this actually so helping you're helping other people, right? At the same time, let me let me tell you something about that thing. You know how they say you give and you receive. It is truly a domino. I mean, it goes around full circle. Mm -hmm. As I'm encouraging, you're encouraging me. As I'm saying something and you're telling me how I uplifted you, you are really like giving me the, the answer. It's like, oh my goodness, that's all I have to do is say a, a kind word and you're going to be okay. It really does something for the spirit to help another person. Yes, yes it, it did. Does. Yes. You, you give and you get back. Not even that you're doing it for that reason. Right. You, you give, especially kindness. Uh, yeah, kind for words, sure. Your kind heart, you always get it back. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what is I'm going to say? Uh, all right. So now working on the new book, um, Journey to Connecting with God. What is the the um, I was going to say what the page? One of the pages. How many pages is the, is this book? It's and, about thirty pages uh, inside the book. Totally, it's a book of devotionals. I should mention. Yes, beautiful. Thank uh, you. What is your favorite uh, page in this book? To be quite honest with you, um, my intro, when I, when I was thinking of how do I, because these are quite, not, I have to be honest with you, I did not grow up in church. I didn't grow up with the, you know, that foundation of knowing this and that. So I didn't really have that connection. Mm -hmm. Truly, truly, I was speaking from a point of, I was there. I don't really know all of this stuff. I don't really know how to find the scripture. I don't really know the, the right phrase. I didn't know any of that. So I went into this project thinking of it, speak from that place of uh, 20 years ago when you really were seeking yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much, so the intro was almost like, I want you to relate to, look, we all have a beginning. My beginning didn't, I didn't just wake up like this. A lot of believers, a lot of, I should say, a lot of people who don't necessarily have a relationship with God, they think that everybody woke up. Everybody had that uh, uh, awakening at a young age. No. Right. Trials and tribulations forced me to seek God more. And the more, and, and, and as you know, one thing happens, then another thing happens, then another thing happens. And you start feeling like, God, what is going on? You don't understand why all of this is happening. It's because God is trying to show you something and show something about me. It uh -huh. wasn't necessarily like, oh, you're a mean person. You're a mean person. You can start pointing at people who are doing you wrong, but that's not what God wants us to see. He wants to say, how do you handle this kind of situation? And I have to thank God for the ability to bounce back because that's really what the, the real essence of life is. Learning yeah. how to mm -hmm. live without allowing your trials to consume you. That's us That's right. Back. That's, that's right. Back. That's right. And that's, that's also, that's being around people who you can lean on when you're down. Yes, you know, for sure. Definitely. Are, are, mental health issues are, are huge. They're great, you know, yes. and they're taking over so, so many people's day-to-day uh, -day lives. 
and some people don't reach out and stretch out. And uh, I certainly would love people to to read your journey, your 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 book. And where, is this available now, Angela? Yes, it actually is avail available. It's available on Amazon and in Barnes and Noble. So yes, hey. people can you know uh, get the book. Thank you for mentioning. Yes, congratulations. That's a big. I big appreciate deal. you. That's a thank you deal that you. I appreciate you. Thank major you. Com major accomplishment. Congratulations on that. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I was I want to talk about your your podcast to working on me. I love the title of the podcast. I, I want to know some of the topics that you're going to be talking about and just share because I mean, I I think I know what I need to work on about me. Uh, and and how is how are people going to preface and start that? Well, how are you going to start that conversation on your podcast? So I, I will have to say this that again, I am not it's nothing perfect about anybody, but I have to tell you, I've had experiences with children. My okay. children have, they're all different personalities, but one in particular I have to say, and I already told her, you know, I'm going to talk about our experience a lot because she was that one, you know how like you, maybe everybody doesn't have one, but I had one who was just so different. She was mm -hmm. challenging because she didn't just flow. She was so different, you know, she was different from the other kids and she was that confrontational one why do I have to or why can't I she was that challenging one so she was so challenging to the point that she even ran away from home let me tell you she ran away from home not once like two or three times so wow. and she became a young uh, early you know, teenage mom and all that I'm not saying that to you know point out her 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 imperfections but the challenges with me going through that why am I feeling like this why am I so caught up in that emotion why am I so depressed why am I not knowing how to trust God through this process why am I not so me myself going through challenges such as the ones that she brought I know that there are so many women going through challenges with difficult children and I don't want to say difficult I'll say more challenging I'll say more adventurous I mean the ones who really really you know push the envelope those those children they will challenge us to be better so you know I so this was about why you, you're, you're, um, you're creating this podcast about working on me because you do have to work on yourself in order to deal with the challenges that sometimes children can bring into your life, not just your children, but everybody else. And if How about everybody else between yeah, difficult course. people, difficult people in general, the mm -hmm. co-workers, bosses, the experiences on a day the day to basis, because there are difficult people all over the world. How do we maneuver in this picture? Who am I in this picture? Let me work on me and stop worrying about pointing fingers at everybody else, because that's the other thing, Lisa. Sometimes when we have things done to us, we want to tell everybody, call everybody and tell everybody about that person. <laughs> that's not necessary it's no longer right. let me work on me let who does me, it help me, who does it yeah. help it's not helping yeah. anybody to do that it's not it's not so how, it's not how do you work on you one of the i have to tell you what works for me mm -hmm. is a relationship with god okay god is first and foremost in all that i do Mm -hmm. So again, I, I'm usually up really wee hours in the morning. So between the prayer time, between the meditation, and every day is not the same. You know how like some people have a regimen, I got to get yes. up, I got to have this, I got to do my tea. I got No, I don't have, it's a different, it's a different thing. I may be listening to inspirational music one day. I may just be on my knees, just meditating. My experience with God is so different. And the things that pops up in my head in the wee hours of the morning. I appreciate, if I, if I could tell anybody anything, those wee hours of the morning when everybody is asleep, when it's quiet in the house, those, 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 that's that intimate time. So I start my day off with trying to hear from God. It's different every day. And I, as I was telling you, I used to do Facebook Live every day. Every morning I'm waking up, you know, just wanting to give a word. Oh, I have to share another word. Oh, Bing. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, but now it's none of that. It's almost uh -huh. sort of like I'm just waiting for God to speak to wow. me. Pretty much. I, and I can't tell you how, how much easier it has be, become for me to include him in every aspect of my life. Now, I know people may look at you like, yeah, right, whatever. But I'm telling you, the more you Who get into cares the cares what anybody thinks? You know, this is about you, your relationship. And I love the way you're I saying appreciate that. that. There's no specific path that you necessarily need to follow. It's yes. just your relationship with God is your relationship. There's For no, sure. you know, there's nothing saying that this is what you should, you should be doing right. this every day or every night or every Sunday or whatever. Every night, right, right, right. You do you when, you know, and, and you're given uh, different information and call, like you're listening for him. So you're being guided 
you know, through what awesome. to do and how to do it, right? So that's Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank and you for that. Who cares about what anybody else says or thinks? This is you and half, because that's energy wasted, right? That's okay. Energy wasted when anybody, when even thinking about when anybody else could possibly think be thinking, because that's that's you do your thing. You do your thing. Really, proud I appreciate of that. you. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. I want to ask um, other things. Do you do other other personal? Uh, care what what else is your personal care your vacation because I know you're busy and I'm not talking about going on vacation traveling somewhere what do you do for Angela that is peaceful what is your peace of mind outside of your meditation uh, because I start my day that way every single day because I can as I say all the time without him I'm without so I I, I get you so what do you do for you also in addition to because you run a lot of charities you do a lot of <laughs> You do, you do, you do, you give, you give, you give, but what is your, what is your uh, self-care? And I'm not saying routine because nothing has to be, you know, special or specific routine, but what is your, what is the special thing you give to yourself? Um, Just like you were saying, time away from everybody Uh and everything. And as a, as a mom, I'm so glad you brought that up because I was just sharing with my, my girlfriend, maybe about a month ago how like I I have to get back to that me time. I'm talking about, I used to rent a room in a hotel and I would tell the kids I'm going away for a day kind of thing. And before the end of the night, I'm calling them again because I think like, I just didn't know how to disconnect from the world. Uh I need more of that time. I'm so glad you brought this point up because I have to do it again. The truth of the matter is that in order for us all, like it's gotta be balanced. It has to be a balance. And yeah. I, I know whenever I'm like really running and running and running, it's because I didn't take time out for me. Yeah. You know, you got to yeah. take time out for you. So I appreciate you saying that. So the, the downtime is, and I'm going to be honest with you, even in the downtime, I love writing. I'm just, I'm, I just love that's writing. Beautiful. But that's I love writing. Then. Yeah. That's love. You're giving yourself love and you're expressing yourself through writing. Yeah. But good. That's something that you give to, you have to give to yourself because we, yes. Yeah so busy running as women, as moms, as entrepreneurs, we sometimes think that our work is a part of the, the catharsis and it's, it's really not, it's not. <laughs> Taking that time, that peaceful time to just be alone in your own thoughts. And I yeah. love the fact that you uh, sometimes go away to a hotel. I had a girlfriend many years ago who said, um, you know, uh, she called me up and she says, what are you doing today? I said, well, no, she goes, I'm spending the night at a hotel here in Asbury Park. You want to come and join me? I said, spending the night she goes yeah i'm away for three days i'm at this hotel <laughs> and she lived here like close by i said well good for you good mm-hmm. for you she said i'm going to the pool i'm going to the sauna i'm going to you know just eat whatever i want and spend these three days by myself just doing me so- yeah i never did the three day thing but i could do an, a, like an overnight a night it's like it's hard i'm gonna be honest with you for me it is really hard but it is necessary. I really, I find that. And my youngest right now is 17. So I don't need a babysitter at this point. You understand? So there's no oh, excuses. You're, there's you're no excuses. So yeah, you, thank God. You, you must do that, Angela. You must yes, do that. I appreciate you sharing that. So, so what I want to do right now is ask you to please share your social media, share your um, the uh, Amazon, uh, where we can get your, where everybody can purchase your book because everybody out there listening is going to purchase your book. Yes. Uh, follow you on social media so please let us know how to contact you that way Angela okay so on Facebook my name is Angela Evans I also have a page author Angela Evans and um, Instagram is Angela underscore E underscore Evans that's where I share some material as well and um, one of the uh, my, my website is Angela Evans publishing.com or one word angela evans publishing.com and on the website i'm going to have more information about the podcast which will start uh airing next month and that is really um a way working on me podcast it's a way for us all to just identify with well who am i what 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 should i be doing never mind talking about this one that one or that never mind all that again like you said what about me what 
who am I in the village? You know, yeah. so with that being said, my goal is just to encourage others. You know, we all have a story. Okay, we, we heard the story. Now, what's the solution? How are we moving forward? How did you overcome? How do we get to another place where we can incorporate God? That's most importantly. I am nothing. I can do nothing without God. So for those who can relate to that, you know, how do we encourage one another to incorporate God in our daily routines so that we can come better for God? With that being said, I that's pretty it. much what it is. Working on me. Everybody's a work in progress. We, we, we have are. not arrived, right? <laughs> it's not like I've no. arrived and I'm, no, we all should be growing we have not and arrived. getting better. Yes. Amen. Every day, every day. Every and, day for sure. and I love that you're going to have this podcast. Because it's a constant reminder. And yes. I love, I know you're going to have that engage, those engaging conversations. For sure, and for sure. Yeah, so I, I, I can't wait. And however we can help you push that out, love to be able to do that. And I appreciate it. So Angela, keep on doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of you, so proud of you. Thank you, I appreciate you, thank you. And thank you for being on the Inventors Podcast. I can't wait to see you again. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's do this again. And I'll be yeah, honest, I'm looking I'm forward inviting to myself. I'm inviting myself to be on your podcast. And Have you will that, be. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And you're right. amazing. I appreciate you too. Lisa, I have to, if, 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 do I have a second just to say, I appreciate you. You're so awesome and amazing. And I appreciate how you took your time out to come and support me in an event that I hosted about maybe two months ago. You came out and you volunteered your time and you spoke to the women, you gave them encouraging words, you gave out gifts, and you are such an influencer and a positive role model in the community outside of what you do. And you're always on the road, in the air, in another state. So I thank you for taking time out for me and the young ladies to come and bless us with your presence and the knowledge and wisdom that you share. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so very welcome. Listen, we're not here for ourselves, girl. Um, yes, for servants, yes. And, and lift each other up, right? For Heather. sure. Yes, I love that. Thank you. Well, thank you. So proud of you, Angela. Well, um, can't wait to see you again and yes. you promise to come back on the podcast. I will. Of course I'm uh, of okay. course I'm coming back. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'll see you again. Thank you again, sweetheart. God bless you. God bless you too. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Take care. Bye-bye.